We are coming up on five years since starting Dirt Nation. And in those five years, we've been on hundreds of off-road trips. Typically those off-road trips go smoothly. We hit a trail, we have fun, everybody goes home safely. Now, there's been more than a few times that we've had ourselves a good old fashioned shit show. Multiple breakdowns, rollovers, epic recoveries, you name it. Today, I present you guys with a trip that was doomed from the very start. We just finished up earlier this week at one of the most difficult trails we've ever hit, Fort Ice Creek Trail. Things went surprisingly well, and in typical fashion, we're due for a disaster. So I present to you our shortest trip ever to the legendary Rubicon Trail. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the episode of Dirt Nation Off Road. So today we are out at the Rubicon for part three of our Rubidice series, where we are running Fordice Rubicon in the same week. Now, we're getting started here at the legendary Rubicon Trail. Look, there's already something coming back. We're here at the con, getting ready to go. We just spent the past couple days at Fordice. You guys can check out parts one and two down below. It was rowdy. It was a hell of a good time and now we're here at the Rubicon to uh, do mostly the same a lot of shenanigans we we're here last year and this trail lives up to every bit of hype that you guys can think of everything you hear about the Rubicon how hard it is how difficult it is how beautiful it is how good of a trail it is it's all true worth the drive worth the work worth putting your rig to the test and all that fun stuff I'm gonna keep it short we're gonna get started with some trailing. Let's do a quick check-in with Jeremy because it's only two of us right now. Jeremy, how we doing, man? Are you you rested up? Yeah. Jeep is good. We're ready to go. Winters is ready to go. Did you do a bolt check? Uh, yeah. When we yeah. When we finished Fort, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Steering's tight, <laughs> quote unquote tight. We'll see how that goes. But hey. We got the welder ready to go, and we got the mini welder ready to go inside there. Let's get started with the gatekeeper. We're gonna get to the, the slabs and all that fun stuff. So, expect it all. We're gonna have some fun today. Let's get it. See, they put signs this time. Last time we didn't know. So this is our first clue that Jeremy's Jeep is having some issues. We're gonna get through the gatekeeper, we'll check it out, and then we'll continue from there. I didn't 
Jeremy's Jeep's having some issues with the rear locker. For some reason, it's, it's just open diff, not locking up. So, we're, we're doing some checks, seeing what's going on. We'll see what's up soon. All right, hour in, we already got the carnage welder out. What are we welding in here? Nothing. <laughs> I guess nothing. No. There we go. <laughs> so, drive shaft oh, shenanigans. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, what the fuck, dude? I'm taking a nice cool nap in here. <laughs> Dude, hey, some of the best naps are when you're laying underneath the truck, like after you like, yeah. you like after a bolt shifts and you smack your fucking hand against a, you know, a mount or something, then you just lay there for 10 minutes. I just need a rest. Yeah. <laughs> Sing it loud.
around Take it in Your glory bound Cowboy. All right, we're back on the road. We had to do some welding. Uh, Jeremy's locker is broken, so he's on light duty. But we just got to get to Buck Island, so wish us luck. So hang in if you can. Just count the days. That's why I didn't want to step down. That's a love. It's falling from the clouds. trip just ended early locker ended up completely failing he is now front wheel drive only so we're gonna continue now i'm gonna have to just pull him through pretty much everything yep hold on, hold on. Eee, hold on.
right, Mr. Never Breaks. Yeah, we broke. <laughs> We're gonna have to pick a spot. I think right there is perfect. Fuck yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, look at how far you've gone with it. <laughs> and to be honest, at Fordyce, you're pretty much doing wheelies the entire time, so all your pressure was on uh, that rear axle. There we go. Yeah. Well earned. Took you long enough. Yeah. Two fuck <laughs> took you two fucking years. See, the... The reason I'm not even mad or disappointed or anything is because Jeremy never breaks. So, world's shortest Rubicon trip. If you guys have had a shorter one, comment below. I want to hear your, your horror stories because we have a, <laughs> one of our own today, which is all good. It's, shit, we got about what, maybe a mile in? Maybe. Yeah. Half of it was, I mean, half of that mile, most of that mile was with uh, uh, open, open rear and then... Yeah, because this wasn't working as soon as we hit. As soon as we hit up there, it wasn't working, there. right? Yeah. yeah. And then it just went boom, and then now we had to come back. And cool. That's going to be it. I guess this is the finale <laughs> for our Rubidai series. I mean, it is what it is. Some trips don't go according to plan, and that's just fine. We had ourselves a great time at Fordyce. And hey, Rubicon kicked our butts right off the bat. So it is what it is. But hey, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Patreon. He also says for shirts, hats, hoodies, and all those other goodies. Make sure to check out the Hardline Heat Tour shirts. We got them with the uh, Old Glory. Plus, you know, on the back, we got the uh, Hardline Heat Tour 2023 logo. You guys can check those out down below. We got a couple dates left. That's it for this video. Thank you, guys. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>